Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Breath of Fire 1, where we are still in the town of Bleak. Uh, the town of thieves, where everybody just steals for the fun of it. It's just a good old time, you know? Just stealing people's stuff for sport. Um, which makes for interesting contrast to a city of gold. Uh, which fears thieves above all else. Um, you can almost... What would, what would that comparison be? The idea of materialism versus um, personal connection. Like, the thieves may have greater personal connection to each other, whereas... But they might not have necessarily material things, because they can just expect those material things to be stolen right from under them. Under the name of good, kind thievery. Whereas, like, the gold city holds every brick in their home to such high esteem that, like, thieves just go straight into jail. Uh, do not pass go, do not collect $200. An old man in the Elk Keep has mirror. Well, hi, I'll tell your, I'll, I'll tell you your fortune for 200 gold points, okay? Yeah. Now close your eyes and concentrate, okay? I'm gonna be robbed. This won't take long. I'm sensing something already. I'm getting close. Just a few more minutes, okay? No. Bo opened his eyes. I can't tell your fortune unless you concentrate. Just a few more minutes. Hmm. Okay, let's save our game and then reload it at that point. J just so we can see what the hell is going on with that. Okay, she's probably going to try to rob you, but l let's at least experience this story. Close your eyes, we will close them, it won't take long, yes, yes. Sensing something in your future, I'm getting close, just a few more minutes, okay? I'm getting close, just a few more minutes, okay? I'm getting close, just a few more minutes, okay? Huh, there's something else going on. Close your eyes and concentrate, Brock. Concentrate, Brock. Huh. This will move, but you need someone stronger. All right, there's something going on here. Something fishy in that house. Since the LT key was taken from the L keep, the sky's been dark. I'm glad everybody's using abbreviations, and I hope they know what they're talking about. Who are the people that are hiding from us? Okay, just a minor amount of paranoia. The people have fled their hometowns because of the dark dragons. Alright, what's in your home? Some... Bo becomes ill from eating potatoes. So, random fruit in a jug. Like that you can take. That's fine. Potatoes? No way. Oh, is this decor a decorative key? It's a decorative key. Like, I, I was wondering about that because that same key sprite is used in the Gold City Jailer cell. So I'm like, is that a key on the wall? Is that an important object? And maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. But apparently it is just random decoration. As it's just used in multiple places throughout the game. Why, hello, sir. I've broken into your home to eat your potatoes. Come and see the great magician at work. All right, put a hundred gold points on the table. I'll make it disappear. Is he gonna put it in his pocket? Okay, hey, look behind you. See, 
Didn't I tell you how great it was? I mean, I've got like, how much money do I have? $62,310. Gold points. Money bucks. I should be okay. I donated a, a hundred gold points to his cause just to see him leave his house with strangers? Oh, no, he came back. Why, hello? Nope, come, come back. I understand that there is a connection between the goddess and the DK key. The Donkey Kong key? The book reveals tricks of master thieves. It's hidden in crypt. Oh, is that what it stands for, the crypt key? I've seen the old man in the L keep talking talk to ghosts. Very odd. All right. Karn could help you enter the safe in Oria, but he's in crypt now. You'll need the icicle to travel in the desert. Trade a G-bar for it? Hold on, where is a gold bar? Gold bar is in... the gold city, which is back through that same dungeon I left. Great. Which means I'm gonna have to go back through that same dungeon, loaded to the brim with random battles, and then come back that same way with said gold bar. And order to get an icicle to travel the desert. All right, I suppose that's the best dec uh, direction I've got. All right, I, I guess I'll just head back to the gold city and buy a gold bar. I, I avoided it because it was expensive? All right, is there anything else for me to look at here? Oh, there's a cave here. I suppose I should probably check out the cave while I'm here. Also, um, I leveled up fighting a bunch of those gold slimes because... Obviously. Um, now Nick is faster than Nina. Uh, hello, how are you? And these guys, they just... Not even really paying attention to who they're cursing. They're just cursing the same person over and over again. Maybe it just requires a lot of concentration for them to just keep vibrating in place. But yeah, let's see where this goes. I'm still unsure exactly where I'm... Like, I'm, I feel like I'm seeing pieces of where I should be going rather than the whole picture. I see the thief in the gold town. He's important for some reason. Um, I see the the safe um, in the gold town house. The multiple locked doors in that middle dungeon. People talk about another dungeon, but I have not seen where it could be. And then there's the desert, which requires an icicle to traverse. But I suppose there's still pathways for me to explore wherever this goes up. Uh, let's... Yeah, everybody's fine. 
nobody needs heals just yet, and Curse is, as previously discussed, not particularly terrible. What is great, though, is now Nick is faster than the flies. Which means that, like, if I fight a group of five flies, which happens relatively frequently in this area, um, all it takes is one... Here, here we go, here's four flies. All it takes is one hit from uh, Nick, and all of the flies go down. Which makes for an interesting sort of reward system for this game. Like, the, the more you play, the stronger your characters get, the faster you fight enemies. The reward you get for fighting more enemies is the ability to fight those enemies less. It kind of is like, um, the hot air and whirling sand of the desert keep Bow from continuing. Okay, so I need the icicle to continue in that direction. So, now I'm gonna have to go back this whole way. Why are you paralyzing the same character over and over again? Uh, so I'm gonna have to go back down this hallway. Then... Go around Bleak, go down that other hallway, go to the Gold City, buy a gold bar, hopefully I can afford it. Go back through that hallway, around Bleak again, back through this dungeon, so I'm just going to cut to me returning in the Gold City, unless something interesting happens in between here and then, but I doubt it. This isn't that sort of game. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I've been inside this tower over here, so once we get rid of this um, one of many sets of mages and green knights. Let's, uh, let's poke inside this tower. Oh wait, never mind. I have been in here. The door's locked. Okay, onwards to the gold bar. You know what's kind of interesting? The more I do these, uh, these random battles, I can't help but notice that there are specific combinations that just don't happen. Like, you don't see enemies mingling together quite in the same random fashion you might expect them to. Like, green knights always go with mages. You don't see a mage with a gold slime in that area. You don't see a green knight with a gold slime. You don't see bullies with flies. You don't see flies with bullies. You always see a group of bullies. You always see a group of flies. It kind of makes me wonder in regards to um, the nature in regards to the development of this game. Like, is there a specific reason why enemy group types seem to be so predetermined to the point where, like... Oh, good job, Bo, by the way. Um, where all of the enemy makeups are, pre are uh, made ahead of time. Uh, they're all predetermined. There's no random enemy groups. And I wonder if that's a decision that was made more for, like, simpler balancing. Like, it's easier to playtest a game when you know that um, you will always confront... Uh, also, I really was not paying attention to who just leveled up. Uh, was it... Was it Nick? Was it Nina? Oh, jeez. Um... But yeah, if you have to keep playtesting for every single variety of bad guys. Like, what if you have the ability, like, those, uh, shadows that curse and paralyze. They only fight you in those groups of three. I have not seen other varieties to that group. Like, what if you had to deal with 
a group of three. One of them was one of those guys that paralyzes you. One of them is a gold slime that uses uh, spells. And then maybe like, let's, let's let's expand the group to two more flies. Like, how do you balance the uh, difficulty in the game if you don't know who your uh, main character is going to be fighting against? What can I do for you? You can sell me nothing. All right, can I afford just barely? Almost as if they wanted you to, uh... to grind against enemies for the sake of additional experience. Uh, just to be able to afford that gold bar so that you could carry on. Or they just assume that you probably didn't have anything to spend your money on anyway. But still, like, I think that's the main reason why I passed up on the gold bar in the first place, because it looked so expensive. But now I've got it. I'm going to take it back to the city of Bleak, trade it for an icicle. So I'm going to cut ahead to that. All right, it took like 25 minutes to walk from Bleak to Aurelia and back, but we have a G-Bar. Give me that icicle, old man. You'll need the icicle to travel into the desert. Trade a G-Bar for it. You have a G-Bar. I'll trade you the icicle for it. You receive the icicle in exchange for a G-Bar. I wasn't even asked. I just showed up with the icicle and he t with the G-Bar and he took it from me. No questions necessary. Okay, let's go to that ca cave and go to the end of the cave where I actually use the icicle. Okay. That was unexpected. Apparently the shadow has a move that just plain kills the guy. Luckily I have too many items, so I should be all right, but still. Let us use the icicle, go out into the desert, Bo uses the icicle and cool air moves in. I'm glad we were able to take Bo with us. We would not want to leave him behind on this grassy desert floor. Are they terribly tough? They're not terribly tough. Also, do we have an idea of what our destination is? Like, is there a nearby town that we're heading to? The answer is yes. It looks like there's kind of like a house farther down south. So I suppose that is going to be our goal for the moment. Although I suppose I probably also should explore the surrounding area just in case there are any various dungeons, caves, pits filled with enemies, or maybe I should just go straight to the town. Because that's where the plot is probably happening. Ah, just two creeps and a new skull scorpion. I was gonna say, how is the upgraded creeps necessarily better 
or uh, a higher target than the Skull Scorpion. Also, that was a pretty decent amount of uh, experience points. Alright, almost there. And at the very least, we are on a desert uh, background. The, the green grass has given way to sand, coarse and rough. It gets everywhere. Nina, good job. It also proves that I probably shouldn't uh, spend too much time chasing after those golden slimes, considering that each battle with these guys does give me about a thousand XP. Like, an individual battle against three of those gold slimes could give you, uh, does give you 3,000, but there's no guarantee you're always going to be fighting those guys. Whereas these guys seem a little bit more consistent and also a little bit easier, not terribly easier. But they go down a lot faster than the gold slimes do. And how much money am I bringing in? 14,000 to this new town. Why, hello! This is Arad. I looked for the moving town, but couldn't find it. Alright, so there is a moving town we're looking for as well. Why, hello! Welcome to the desert. Would you like to rest? Yes. Oh, he's not even charging for it. Come back when you need a rest. You know what? That is interesting. Like how much, um, like most of the time for RPGs, uh, JRPGs especially, uh, the price of an inn always escalates as you go farther and farther into the game. That's it. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. But the fact that the um, the price has always been fluctuating depending on the town you go to, like it's free in the thief town, but somebody does try to rob you. It costs much more than every other inn you've been in um, when you're in the city of gold. Uh, it's 60 gold points in w Tantar, but only 59 gold points in Tuntar. Uh, the mayor has the th fife. You can use it to make a bridge appear over the quicksand of Crypt. Alright, I feel like I'm getting closer. Arad is in a desolate area. That's why the dragons aren't there. Have you heard about the town that moves around in the desert? Yes, I have. Are you going to add to that? Are you going to... Nothing? I have a craving for nuts, but they don't grow on palm trees. I heard that the Thief of Crypt stole a rare weapon and hid it. I'm guessing the Thief of Crypt is the very same thief that's locked in the cell of the Gold City. And I'm gonna probably need something to... T yep, yep, I've already talked to you. Need something to earn his trust, to make him want to join the party. Bah. Bah. All right, let us talk to your uh, chief about his fife. The mayor has the fife. You need to talk to the mayor. The giant sandworm appears with every new moon. I'll give you the fife if you destroy it, okay? Yes. When the sandworm appears, it eats our goats. 
There's a new moon tonight. Wait and you will see it. It's all in your hands now. All right. Well, let's save our game and then confront the giant sandworm. Definitely not inspired by Dune. Completely un or original. All right, am I going to... Ah, there's the sandworm. Why, hello, sandworm. Um, you can fry the sandworm. You can attack up on Nick, and Nick can turn into a thunder dragon. Power up. Oh no, you've done 36 points of damage. I will never survive this attack. Uh, fry him again? Yes. And Nina can attack up Bo, and then Nick can just attack. Power up. That was a slam? That wasn't terrible. All right. So, Bo can continue to fry. Nina can heal somebody, I guess, herself. And Nick can continue to attack. Yeah, it doesn't seem like being a dragon costs Nick anything. Like, there's no running out of dragon energy. I want to say in Breath of Fire 4, for the PS1. Um, like, you can only be a dragon for so long before it says, you know what? We think you've been a dragon for long enough. Uh, you're gonna have to stop being a dragon for a little while before we can let you be a dragon again. But this does not seem to have any limits to your dragon stamina. Just more towards, like, how often you can be a dragon. Like, with 12 AP in order to become a dragon... Um, Nick can turn into a dragon a maximum of... What, six times? Because he has 82 uh, AP points, he can right now to only turn six times into a dragon. If I chose that specific version. Um... Which means that it's not exactly uh, sustainable to con to continuously use it uh, from one fight to the next, considering how many fights your character gets in. But when it comes to bosses... Like, Nick is doing way more damage not because he has a better weapon or anything, but because he can turn into a dragon and use spells for free. More or less. Let us heal Bo. So was the sandworm defeated, or did he run away? Thank you very much. Please take the fife as a gift of my gratitude. The fife is in the treasure box. Oh, okay. You take fife. Not the fife, you take fife. The fife is... I already have the fife. All right, let's find the fife in our... This item reveals hidden bridges. Yes, I've heard about that. Arid is in a desolate area. Who is saying something about a fife? 
One of you guys was saying something about a fight. You can use it to make a bridge appear over the quicksand of Crypt. Is that that temple north of here? Is that considered Crypt? Like, I can't actually reach it right now. Huh. It is a moving town. Uh, let's see if I can use the fife. I'll never be able to use it. All right, I guess let's take a look around the desert and see if we can find... Oh, never mind, it's right there. <laughs> ah, good job, Bo! I was not expecting to get instantaneous results to my question. All right. Can I... Do I have to... Yes. Nope, never mind. I don't use it for my inventory. And then the bridge exploded. All right, let's stop here for the night. Because I've been playing this game for an hour now, mostly just traveling. Don't know how long this video is, but them's the bricks. Uh, for now, got any suggestions for something to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.